Hey guys, James here. So the MMO range finding app has been available for Android devices through the Google Play Store for a few months now. So I thought it was time to make a short tutorial video just to go over some of the features and functions of the app and some really simple examples of how it can help you out in the field. So once you've got the app downloaded and installed from the Google Play Store, click on the MMO rangefinder icon to launch the app on your device. So the goal of the app is to calculate the distance of the animal to the source so you can make a quick mitigation decision. And to do that, we need four key pieces of information. That is the distance and bearing from you to the target, which is a whale or any other species that you're protecting, and the distance and bearing to the source. Now we'll just run through a quick example. I've just seen a whale off the starboard beam at a distance of about 2,000 meters. The source has been towed behind the vessel at 180 degrees and its distance is 500 meters from our observation location. Click solve and the app calculates that that animal is 2062 meters from the source. Click the X's just to clear the data and we'll go through some of the functions of the app. From the top we've got our compass uh, display. Now in this demo the compass won't actually deviate from zero degrees but on your own device as you orientate your device that will uh, change the value for the compass. The red arrow just indicates which way the device is orientated is what the compass is going to show you. The information uh, for target and source requires data to be entered. We can do that in two ways. We can enter it manually just by clicking and entering on our phone or we can also fix the bearing. So orientate your device towards whatever you want to fix and press fix and whenever this value is up here under the red arrow will be presented here in the target. This also works for source, but typically your uh, source will be, uh, will be a known. For distance, we can enter our distance to the target or source manually again in meters. Or what we can also do is use a reticule converter. And I'll go to, into this in more detail when I show you how to set up the app. But just as an example, if we estimate that the animal is 0.5 reticules below the horizon, click the reticule button and it converts that angular measurement into a distance in meters. So if it's one reticule, it's 1,524 meters. So again, I'll go into that in, into more detail how we actually set that up so it works for your own um, particular situation. Below this again, we've got two delete buttons. So you can delete all the data for the target or delete all the data for the source. You can leave the source in there if it's not going to change. You can leave it in the background. The solve button is in the center of the app. And the uh, calculation is read out here in green. Now down towards the bottom of the app, we can see that we've got some location information. Now we can set up the app for up to three different observation platforms. Again, you're going to be moving around the vessel. You're going to be at different heights above sea level. So we can set up three different um, uh, default locations. And each of those has its own um, relevant um, eye height above sea level. So we can see that Monkey Island is 30 meters above sea level. Bottom left, we've got our uh, GPS location. And we also read out uh, course over ground and speed over ground. Now, bear in mind, if your GPS isn't enabled on your device, these aren't going to read out properly. So let's go into some of the options that we have to set up the reticules and set up how we want the app to behave. So from the top, we've got our app preference and advanced is what I've been showing you so far. The basic I'll show you at the end is basically everything you see there without a reticule converter and without any GPS information. The positioning can be displayed in all the standard formats you'd expect. We're going to leave it in degrees, minutes, seconds. Vessel speed, again, can be in knots or kilometers per hour, whatever your own preference is. Now, here's where we actually set up our reticule convert converter. So refer to your manufacturer's specifications for your own binoculars and enter whatever the mil measurement per reticule is in the specifications. Now, standard um, 7 by 30 binoculars will be, sorry, 7 by 50 binoculars will be about 5 mils. But just again, refer to your own documents. Compass sensitivity. 
Now on the Android, the compass is actually quite sensitive to very small movements. So I've added in some sensitivity um, options just to tone that down a bit. But bear in mind, if it's, if it's going to be super sensitive, you may not want to rely on it at all. Just rely on other sources of compass information. Now below this, you've got your three um, location settings that you can fill out information for. That is a name, the height in meters, and the distance to source. So this is another function. If, we, if, if, if we've got a fixed distance to source, so during the entire survey, the source was told 500 meters behind you, you don't really need to enter that every time. So just fill out that number here. And it, every time you select that location, that will fill out that information into that box. It's just one less thing for you to enter. Now, going back to the name, just keep it short and snappy. So for the heli deck, let's say the heli deck is right at the back of the vessel. So the distance from you to the source is going to be less. So let's set that one at 400. And the distance from Monkey Island to 450. So just click on the screen anywhere just to hide the menu. You can also click this button. So now when I click bridge, it's automatically filling out the distance from my location on the bridge to the source as 500 meters. Gone back to the heli deck. So now I'm 100 meters closer to the source. So now it's giving you that piece of information and for the monkey island. So with those parameters, Every time you hit this, every time you hit this reticule converter and you've entered your number of reticules, it's going to take into account your eye height above sea level and also the mils per reticule that you've entered. So a very handy feature and it just saves you carrying around conversion tables and whatnot. So I'm just going to do one last uh, demonstration. I'm going to go into the basic version of the app, and this is for the old school guys who just like like it to be kept simple. So I've left in that fix button here, but you don't have to use it if you don't want. So this time, let's say we've seen an animal off on the port side. We've seen it, it's 1500 meters out. The source again is behind us, and this time, let's say it's 300 meters. Click solve, and the target is 1530 meters from the source. And that's essentially how the app works. If you have any questions, you can drop me an email. Uh, you can find it through the Google Play Store, or you can also down at the bottom here, click the I, and you've got a, you've just got my email address there. Any questions, please fire them away, and I'll see what I can do. Thank you.